Hey there, business professionals. Welcome to another free video lesson. My name is Grant. I'm an award-winning business English coach, and my job is to help you become the most professional, confident English speaker possible. In this video, we are going to cover a very confusing set of business words that a lot of English learners make mistakes with. These words are company, office, headquarters, department, industry, and finally, branch. If you've ever been confused by these words, don't worry, this video will explain everything. First, I'll teach you exactly what each word means and how to use it, then we'll practice, so by the end of this video, you should have no problem using each of these words correctly and confidently. First, let's talk about the word company. Company means a business. You use this word when you're talking about a business in general, as a whole, or just the overall concept of a business. For example, Tesla is a fast growing company. Some very similar words are business, corporation, if it's a very large company, or firm, which is a little bit more formal, but a little bit less common. Now, a key detail here. The word company means the business itself, but it does not mean a physical place. This is a pretty common mistake. For example, the sentence, I have to go to my company this Saturday to finish my sales report. This actually sounds incorrect and unnatural. So let's talk about how to fix this. Next is the word office. Office is the physical location where employees of a company work. For example, my company, the business, will open a new office, the location, in Singapore next year. Office can also be about one employee's specific work area if it is a completely separate room. Some offices have a giant open space where all of the desks are. Others have different desks in different rooms. If your desk and your work area is a completely separate room, then you can call that your office. I share an office with one of my team members. That would mean you and one team member, you both are in your own room with your own desks, having your own work area. So to fix the mistake on the last slide, we should say, I have to go to my office this Saturday to finish my sales report instead of my company. Next, let's talk about headquarters. The company headquarters, that is the main or the most important office a company has. Usually, this is where the executives work and where most of the major company decisions happen. I work for an American company. Their headquarters is in New York City. An important detail here, notice that we say headquarters with an S, not headquarter. When you're using this as a noun, you actually want to add the S even though this is only one location. Now let's talk about department. A department, when it's about a business, is all of the employees and all of the business activities of a specific type in a company. For example, all of the marketing employees and all of the stuff that they do, that is the marketing department. Now, the structure you should use when you use the word department is a determiner and then the type, marketing, sales, HR, and then the word department. Most of the time, the determiner will be the, my, or our. If we look above, we have the marketing department, and then another example at the bottom, our sales department has five teams total. Next, industry. 
is all of the companies of a specific type. So if you're talking about all of the fintech companies, you can call that the fintech industry. Similar to department, the most common structure that you should use when you say this word is a determiner and then the type and then the industry. Most of the time, the determiner will be the. Like in this example, the fintech industry is growing very quickly. So you would say the finance industry, the e-commerce industry. However, you don't always need to follow this structure if you give the industry type earlier in the sentence. For example, e-commerce is a very competitive industry. Finally, let's talk about branch. When this word is about business, it means a division or section of a business. This can be used for a section of a larger business, usually an international business, that operates in a certain area. So for example, if there is an international business that's in many different countries, the area of that business located in Korea, you could call that the Korean branch. So you can use this word when you're talking about the area of a business in a specific location, usually a country or a region. An important detail here, notice that we say the Korean branch, not the Korea branch. So you want to use the adjective form of the country name, like Korean, German, Japanese, not Korea, Germany, Japan. Okay, now you have a chance to practice using some of the words from this video. Pause the video and for each blank, use one of the terms that we just learned. You'll use some of them more than once and then when you're ready, you can click play to see the answers. All right, here are your answers. Our goal for next year is to be the number one company in the Korean pharmaceutical industry. We also want to have at least 20 offices in Korea by the end of 2022. Our headquarters is located in Hong Kong, but I work for the Korean branch as part of their research department. I had a really busy work day yesterday. I didn't leave the office until 11 p.m. The biggest industries in my country are tech, finance, and e-commerce. And last, we have a meeting once a month where the heads of all the departments come together. So in summary, you want to use company when you're talking about an entire business or the concept of a business. Use office for the physical location where employees work or where you do your work. You want to use headquarters for a company's main and most important office where the big decisions are made. Then you can use department for all of the employees and all of the activity of a specific type in a company. You want to use industry for all of the companies of a specific type. And finally, use branch for a specific section or area of a company. And this can usually be about a specific geographic location. All right, that is all for this video. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button before you leave. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next lesson.